Hey guys, welcome to question MM418 of the Maths Methods Fortify Study Guide. Now, it is known that 30% of the customers who buy a shirt in a particular store will also buy a pair of jeans. If three customers buy a shirt, what is the probability that less than two of these customers also buy jeans? Assume that each customer's purchase is independent of any other customer's purchase. All right, awesome. So that last sentence there that tells us that it's independent is really, really important because it actually gives us a clue as to what kind of probability we're gonna to have to use. In this case, we're actually gonna to have to use uh, binomial, right? Because each person who goes in there uh, has a set chance to buy something, right? So it has a set chance to have a success in the eyes of this trial, right? So a success is that they buy, a gene, buy jeans and a failure is that they don't buy jeans, right? There's no other outcome. They can either buy them or they can't, which tells us that we have to deal with binomial distribution. So. In this case, we are looking for the probability that uh, less than two of them buy jeans. So I'm just going to use X as the number of people who buy jeans, uh, which means that we're looking for the probability that none of them buy jeans and the probability that one of them buys jeans. Okay, so this is the this is the process that we're going to have to follow here. Now this kind of sucks without a calculator, so apologies, but you do have to be able to know how to do this. So our binomial distribution formula tells us that uh, the probability that x equals x uh, is equal to ncx times p to the x times 1 take p to the n minus x. Uh, so let's start with um, x is equal to 0, okay? So we know, that our, we know that 3 people buy a shirt, so that means that our n is 3, and we know that 30% of them buy jeans, which means that our probability that they buy jeans is 0 0.3. Okay, so 0 0.3 is the same as 30%. n is 3. 3c x, which in this case is 0, times p, which is 0 0.3, to the power of x, so 0, uh, times 1 minus p, so 0 0.7, so 1 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7, uh, and then n minus x, where n is 3, and n x is 0, so there's going to be 3. Awesome. Uh, now we need it, so we've done this, now we need to do this. So plus... Uh, n c x, so n is still 3, c uh, x is 1, outside of uh, p, which is 0 0.3, to the power of x, uh, which is, in this case, 1, times 0 0.7, which is the 1 minus p, to the power of n minus x, which is 3 minus 1, so 2. Awesome. This is our first mark. Uh, then we can just evaluate this as normal. So 3 c 0 is actually 1, so anything c 0 is 1. And then 0 0.3 to the power of 0 is 1. 0 0.7 to the power of 3 is 0 0.343. Now, if you don't know how to do this with a calculator, just do 7 times 7 times 7, uh, and then move your decimal place 3 points back. So 7, 7 cubed is 343, so 0.7 cubed is 0.343. Awesome. Plus 3C1, which is 3. 0 0.3 to the power of 1 is just 0 0.3. And then 0.7 times 0.7 is 0 0.49. Taking all this out, 1 times 1 times 0.343 is still just 0.343, plus uh, 0 0.441. You might have to do some long multiplication with this stuff. Uh, and then adding these together, we get 0 0.784, which is the probability that less than two of them buy, a, buy genes. Uh, and that's actually our second mark. So guys, that's it for MM418. If you have any questions about it, please hit me up in the comments below as always. Uh, but otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.